Okay, so this is the instructional and read aloud video for the quiz Newton's Three Laws of Motion. So up here, it tells you the three laws. Law one is inertia. An object will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. An object will stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. This is law two. Force equals mass times acceleration. The acceleration on an object depends on the mass of the object and the force applied to the object. Law three, action equal reaction. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So what you're gonna do is number one, two, three, four, and then there's a backside, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're going to we are gonna read the scenario and you need to tell me which law applies to the scenario. Okay, so if it's law one, you circle one, law two, you circle two, and law three, you circle three. So the basketball is in the air the player catches the ball and stops it. So which law applies for when a ball is in the air and then something stops it? Circle one, two, or three. Number two, space rocket has smoke coming out of the exhaust because gases burn. The gas is being used to push the rocket ship into space. So which law explains that when gases burn in the rocket, then the other action is the rocket propelling into space. Again, which law says that, you know, when gas is being burned, then the rocket goes into space. So the gas is what causing the rocket to go to space. Is it law one, law two, law three? The next one is number three. Number three says, the ball is on the ground. The boy kicks a ball into the air. The ball is now in the air moving through the field. So which law is it? Is it law one, law two, law three? So which law tells you that the ball is not in motion and then something happens to it and now it's in motion? Okay. Law four says the bicycle is the mass, your leg is the force. The bigger the bicycle and yourself, the more force you have to push your legs pedaling. This gives you how fast you go, your acceleration. So which one explains this? Law one, law two, law three. Which one tells you that the more force you're pushing on the pedal, the faster you're going to go? So your mass, how heavy you are, or how much mass you have, okay, and depends on how much force you have to put on the pedal for you to go faster. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and look in the back side. Number five says, a box is at the front door, a person comes and pushes it out of the way. So which one is it, law one, law two, or law three? So again, an object is not moving. Oh, sorry, my lights went off. An object is not moving, and then you come and move it. Okay. Next one, number six, skateboarding. Again, the skateboard is the mass, your leg is the force. The bigger the skateboard and yourself, the more force you have to push. Your legs pedaling. This gives you, gives you how fast you go, your acceleration. So again, you are the mass and you have to apply the force for the skateboard to go. So your mass and how fast you go depends on your force of you pushing the skateboard, okay? Number seven, a vase of flour is placed on the table. Gravity is pushing the vase down, but the table pushes back up on the vase. So the vase of flour is placed on the table. Gravity is pushing the vase down toward the table, but it does not go through the table. The table is pushing back. So which law is it? Is it law one, law two, law three? That gravity is pushing on the table, but the table is pushing back up. Right. Number eight, the bug is flying through the air and it hits a card windshield. So which law is it? Law one, law two, or law three? That something is in the air and then 
the windshield stops it. So without the windshield, the bug would just keep on flying, but the windshield stops the bug. So which law applies to that? Number nine, you are rolling down a hill on your skateboard. You hit a rock, you fall off. So again, is it law one, law two, or law three? So you're in motion, and then the rock, an outside force, stops you, and you fall off. So which one is it? Is it law one, law two, or law three? Number 10, the moon's attracted to the Earth's orbit because of the Earth's gravity. The Earth's ocean tide rises and falls because of the moon. So here is the example of the Earth and the moon. So the moon is attracted to the Earth because of gravity, and then the Earth, because of the moon, gets the tide. So the moon is attracted to the Earth, and the earth gets the tide from the moon. Okay, is it law one, law two, or law three? Make sure your name is on the front of the paper and then turn it in.